Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. In this video, we will discuss about the types of tool wear such as crater wear and flank wear. So let's get into this video. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe this channel and also like and share this video to your friends and leave your valuable comment. So thank you for watching. Crater and flank wear. This is the diagram showing the crater and flank wear. The top, the bottom layer of the chip and the top portion of the tool form a region forms the crater wear. This is the region the wear occurs. This region is called crater, so it is called as crater wear. The bottom face of the tool is called as flank and the wear occurring in this face is called flank wear this is the rake face crater wear this type of wear is commonly observed while machining the ductile materials which produce continuous chips when turning long chipping materials like steel the hot chips under pressure have the tendency to weld to the top face of the tool. Thus pressure welding of the chips occurs over the tool. These welded granules in turn get loosened along with some particles of the tool and are carried away by the passing chips. This triple action of welding, uprooting and carrying away leads to the formation of a crater in the tool face. The development of a crater results in premature failure of the cutting edge. The maximum depth of the crater is usually a measure of the amount of the crater wear and can be determined by a surface measuring instruments. Crater wear occurs at a short distance from the cutting edge. Flank wear. This wear occurs on the flank. It is due to the action of abrasion and resultant heat generated between the tool and the workpiece. Brittle materials tend to cause excessive flank wear. The bone region at the flank is called wear land. The increased wear land means that friction heat will cause excessive temperature of the tool at the cutting point and therefore the tool will rapidly lose its hardness and tool failure will take place. Flank wear results in a rough machined surface. This is the chart showing relation between wear and time. The primary or initial wear, secondary or steady state wear zone, tertiary or accelerated wear zone are shown in this graph. During initial wear, heavy abrasion of the most salient parts of the surface occurs. Smoother friction surfaces will produce lower rate of wear. In secondary wear zone, wear occurs at a steady state. In tertiary wear zone, wear occurs at a rapid pace. The use of cutting fluids reduces tool wear as it reduces friction force on sliding surface and lowers the temperature to which the tool is heated. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe this channel and also like and share this video to your friends to get more knowledge so thank you for watching